Okay, this is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Horrible. So, cut that guy off. Did a pretty good job of cutting it pretty straight. And actually ended up with more material. But this is just horrible. So, I had cut into this bar a little bit and uh, I wanted to weld on it a little bit to uh, reinforce where I had cut into it and you can see I, I went at it on the ground and welded and ground and did that about twice ground and then welded and then ground and I was getting pretty good. I mean, you know, it was getting a little dippy in some spots from grinding it. And I was trying to reinforce those dips by welding on it a little bit more. But I totally didn't even realize that, yep, it completely warped on me. And I noticed it when it was hot. And I stuck it in that guy bounced around on it and I used a high lift jack on it trying to straighten it out some and I don't know it didn't seem like it did much so my options now my uh, regulators for my oxyacetylene are actually being rebuilt a guy called me this morning and told me they're ready so I can heat it up try to straighten it out but this is one mangled piece of metal as well it's got some dips in it uh, let's see uh, I guess they're all on the other side whoa yeah there's some dips in it right there uh, come on you son of a that's a pretty good dip in it I was gonna weld more and uh Bring it back up, but that's when I noticed it's bent. So my options are kind of straighten it out a little bit at least. Just for, my options are I've been going over this in my head a lot. Try to straighten it, weld on it. You won't really see much of this because it'll be covered up by that. I'm going to have two and a half inches of sticking out right here, which you won't really see. So, heat it up, oxyacetylene, a lot. But I think that weakens the metal. Plan B. Cut it right here. And use something that has the inner diameter of two and a half, just like this, because that fits really nice, perfectly in there. Slide that in, get a new length of bar for that other side, and just do a big hefty buckle weld all the way around. <laughs> Option B. Option C, which would take uh, another week or so to get together, is order another one of these hinge kits, spindle hinge kits and install it right here and then I'd have two cut this down the middle get a new bar and I would have two with the swing out this way and a swing out this way one for the tires one for the tire and one for the gas cans and then I would have to devise some sort of a overlap latching system I have it overlap and then have a mm, excuse me Bill's, Bill's T-Max there for you that was a Bill's T-Max um, so kind of leaning towards that option because then I don't have the sloppy buckle weld which would look kind of cool I mean you wouldn't really see it and that I could maybe tie into my uh, Pilot jack mount somehow there, which 
I might experiment with now. That just gave me kind of an idea. But I don't know if I'm going to use this bar anymore. I mean, I, I mean this section of it from about here on out. It just looks like I messed it up too much. It's just too, too, you know what I mean? It's too, too, too much, too much. So that's where I'm at with my project that I thought was going to take eh, a couple weeks. But you know how these things goes. Away she goes. <laughs>